Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Today's Friday morning. I'm heading to acupuncture. It's around 8 o'clock. I just fed the dogs, put Rue in a crate, and I ate one of those blueberry muffins that I made. It's going on with my hair. I ate one of those blueberry muffins that I made yesterday. I'm having a big thing of green juice and then my water I'm gonna bring with me to go. Um, I'm gonna get like coffee and a bigger breakfast in town once I'm done with my acupuncture. I've been going weekly and it's been helping a ton if you're pregnant. I highly, highly, highly recommend going to like a prenatal acupuncturist. My doctor is so good and I'm obsessed with her. So I got the recommendation through Julia Haven. She actually went there when she was pregnant with her baby smoke. I think I used to be so scared of it because I thought it would hurt really bad, but it really doesn't bother me at all. Minus when there's like an area that I feel like a lot of like tension is built up, like my foot. When I went last week the first time for my foot and they stuck so many into my foot, it did really hurt just because my foot was in bad condition at that point, but it's getting better slowly. So today I'm sure they'll do my foot again and it'll hurt probably a little bit less. So anyways, they do like my head, my neck, they put like one between my eyes. They do my whole entire back, my hips, everything, down my leg, my hamstring, everything. And it like feels so good. And then after they give you like a big rub down, like a therapeutic massage, and it's just so nice. And you sit there in the dark with relaxing music for like 20 25 minutes with the needles in so you have to sit still obviously i always end up falling asleep because i always go to these in the morning we're gonna head there we have a lot of errands to do today just getting stuff done stuff dropped off stuff returned so that i'll bring you guys along and make this like a little weekend vlog um and then i think tonight we're actually getting dinner with julia and hunter um we haven't seen them since before christmas when we grabbed dinner so i think dill will be able to join tonight since it's friday night so that'll be fun i'm like 15 minutes early so i'm a little bit early to my appointment i'm sitting here like chugging the water i woke up so thirsty today i feel like i've been drinking so much water throughout my pregnancy which i know is a good thing um because one of my goals before i got pregnant was like i need to be drinking more water i feel like i never really do i just finished up my green juice and i'm sipping out of this water bottle which i wanted to share it's from the brand mana hydration which i wanted to thank them quickly for sponsoring today's video i'm obsessed with their cups they have water bottles tumblers mugs like they have so many different ones to choose from so i'll link their website below because i have a discount with them and i've gotten so many questions about this cup i've been posting it for a little bit i got it before i went to florida and i brought it to florida with me i just think it's so sleek and i love the color of this i have the bigger version of this in like a gray color um but when i'm on the go and stuff if i'm not going to be out all day i'll bring this smaller one because i just love the bright color for spring and summer the brand is 100 percent eco friendly which i love and they also have eco friendly packaging which is really nice and they also offer free shipping on orders over 50 dollars and more and have free and easy returns which who does not love a company that offers free and easy returns i'm like all for that i'm like sign me up if they have free returns but I will link this exact one below because I have been getting so many questions about this cup They just like use really good quality materials for their products and I just love I love the lid I love the, how the straw matches. It's just really sleek cute fits in my cup holder And then the bigger size one the gray one that I have back at home um, It also fits in my cup holder which I feel like is a big deal when you're on the go a lot Making sure that it fits. They also have ones with like handles that you could get and I'm sure it would still fit in your cup holder But I just like how sleek and easy this is. I do have a discount code with them I'll put it here on the screen I'll put the link as well down below in the description But check them out again if you spend over $50 or more you get free shipping and then also free and easy return So check them out. Thank you mono hydration for sponsoring this video obsessed with your products I do not go anywhere without that water bottle these days so I'm just kind of chilling in the car until my appointment after that i think we're gonna head to a coffee shop really want to get a coffee and i'm not feeling starbucks you guys i don't know what it is lately but i'm like so not into starbucks every time i go i feel like the thing is is for starbucks is like it's a drive through and it's a convenience thing but every time i go i'm like i i could make a better coffee at home or i know that there's like better lattes out in the city like i'm thankful enough to live around a bunch of coffee shops and cool and cute places so i'm always like I don't know i used to be such a big starbucks fan and i don't know if it's my taste buds have changed during pregnancy but i'm just like i do not really like starbucks anymore and i never thought that i would say that like i literally never thought i would say that and that's not me being like i'll never go to starbucks again like i definitely will go to starbucks here and there like i went before my hair appointment the other day but my coffee was just like mediocre like i didn't even drink the whole thing it wasn't anything special and now with being pregnant i like to really enjoy my coffee because i get to have one today and i'm just like there's better places to go get a latte i've been really into just like a plain iced vanilla latte and i just feel like starbucks is not the best option so i'm gonna like google like coffee shops around me because i'm in the brentwood area and go grab a coffee do a little bit of work i brought my computer with me and then i wanted to run into stock and trade and possibly the restoration harbor outlet just to see because 
there's like two new pieces that I could use for the living area for more storage, like a buffet for the little dining nook or like a bookshelf cabinet type of thing to put in the living room. So I'm gonna see if either place has something that catches my eye. I brought my little <laughs> sheet with measurements on it from the new house that I took. It's just nice to get furniture like in person, especially at places like this, because one, you get it right away. You don't have to wait for shipping. And then two, you don't have to pay like the shipping cost. I was on, um, what website was it? McGee and Co. I think like a few nights ago. And I had like two furniture items in my cart and it was like three over $300 for shipping. And I was like, that's just like so crazy to spend. And I was like, I don't know if I'm willing to spend that, especially when we have good furniture stores around us here in Nashville. So um, maybe we'll just go take a peek in there after and then head back home. I have some work I need to get done. I need to do some editing. And I don't want the dog sitting in the crate too long just because I will at least root when he's not in a crate because um, I fed them. And she did go outside and go to the bathroom, but I just don't want her to have to feel like she has to hold it for that long. I don't like to leave him in the crate that long after they have just ate. So we'll head back as quickly as we can but I do need to get I don't need to I want to get a coffee get a little bit of work done at the coffee shop I'm not gonna like fully edit the vlog I have a video going up tonight um and sometimes I like to just edit at home so I don't have to wear like headphones and stuff since Dylan's not home I just like free edit on the couch or on, in the dining room um but I do have like a little bit of like emails and admin stuff to get done so I figured I could do some of that at the coffee shop like on my phone or something <laughs> Rue, you're not, oh, you want to know why she's freaking out? It's because I cleaned out their cabinet with all their stuff and took out like all their treats and stuff and now she thinks, and then I had to take out the harnesses and now she thinks she's going somewhere. <laughs> That's exactly what she's doing. You know that, right? <laughs> Are you gonna speak or respond to me when I'm talking? Yes. You're just staring at me. I didn't know if you were talking to your camera or me. Rue. You Stop. Come on, you have to go upstairs in your crate. Oh, I literally took out their treat things to give them a treat and then I left it. I'm losing my mind. Much later, I did not vlog a ton today because when I got home, I basically sat at the computer. I got a video edited and uploaded, so that was nice. I got a video up before the end of the week and I just got dressed. I'm gonna button this because I don't think I'm gonna do full belly out but it's just more comfortable right now because i'm kind of hot we're going to go grab dinner with julie and hunter we're gonna go to bar taco so we're gonna drive over to their place and then just walk because they live pretty close i'm wearing this orange cardigan from american vintage Siegelman stable hat elwood cropped tee i need to like cuff these i feel like the bottom looks weird but i'm wearing these new reeboks that i just got in i love them i got them off of forward i can link these are my shop alley grace maternity jeans but i'll probably button this just so it's not like <laughs> too much belly out good morning you guys i just made the bed just got up heading downstairs let the dogs out dogs enjoy the pregnancy pillow <laughs> i use the newton one and i love it so much i can link it i think last time i linked it, it was like over 50 percent off so i'll try to link it again see if it's still on sale but i'm obsessed we've got the belly's gonna eventually be like covering my feet soon i feel like it's so crazy okay ready Winnie, let's go. You can do it. <laughs> For breakfast, we're gonna do a little yogurt bowl. I have the sheet milk yogurt that I got at Whole Foods in the last vlog. I love this stuff. Um, I'm gonna do half a banana, strawberries, honey, this granola, so good. It's like a local Tennessee brand. And then some hemp seeds for some protein. I'll top it with a little bit of honey, but I always mix the honey into the yogurt a little bit because I find like it's a little bitter and I just like to mix it. And then we need to get a little cutting board out. I find it so much more enjoyable if you dice up your fruit in a parfait bowl, like if you cut it smaller. Kind of makes it feel like a restaurant. <laughs> okay, strawberries are going in. Do hemp seeds. It's like a tiny bit more of honey on top. Here's our bowl, it's so yummy. I'm gonna grab my water, 
take my seed, my armor, sit on the couch for a little bit, watch some YouTube. It's currently 9.30. I slept in. Um, I'm just having myself a slow morning. Um, when Dylan gets back from work, we're going to start doing some stuff for the move. We ended up getting a little storage unit, so we're going to start clearing out the garage, which I'll bring you guys along for. I can wear my little like toothpaste water stain on my shirt, but this is a little sleep set from Set Active. I've had it for like years, and I just found it in my drawer, and I was like, wait, this I think would fit over the bump, and it definitely does. It's super, super comfy. It just like rides up a little bit, but obviously it's... <laughs> Can do that. 26 weeks pregnant. I want to go online and see if they have like more colors and stuff and maybe size up one just so it's a little bit looser. But I love, love, love this material. I got that other Amazon color sweatshirt in the mail and I can confirm that I love them. I think that they run a little bit oversized. If you guys watched the last vlog, I talked about how I got like that light gray one. It's kind of a dupe for the Joa Brown sweatshirt, but. I just love the mock neck. I got an XL because I wanted it to go over my bump and still look oversized. Um, but I think I could have done a large. I'm not gonna return them because I feel like my bump's just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger and I can dry it a few times, but absolutely love. If I wasn't pregnant, I could have done like a medium or a large. So just so you guys know, I will link this for you guys. I got the darker gray and then the charcoal gray and I really love both colors. And then Abercrombie sent me over a little package, which was super sweet of them. I picked out some like athletic type of stuff. I really am in love with this green pistachio color, like the color of my nails. Um, and I got all this stuff in a large, so I'm hoping, I like have not shopped at Abercrombie in the longest time and there's no drawstring on these. So I'm thinking they might be a little bit too big. I might need to get a medium, but super cute. The material feels really nice. A little matching sweatshirt and a large as well, which this looks like it'll be perfect. And this is like a little crop, so the belly will be out, so that will be cute. They sent me over a few like little extra things that I actually didn't pick out. This is a maternity top. Maternity Abercrombie & Fitch, they sent me a size small. It's just like a square neck, long sleeve black top that has like some ribbing, which is really cute. It's really hard to tell on camera, but I did not know that they had maternity, so that is exciting. Thank you, Abercrombie. I always see so many people rave about the Abercrombie jeans and I want to try them once I'm not pregnant anymore because I see so many girls in them and they look so cute and like the fit looks really nice. And I got these like um, sweat tech shorts type of thing. I got a size medium. They look like they're going to fit perfect. Very excited about these to just wear comfortable underneath the bump. And then I got sundress in this navy color, which I'm so excited to start being able to wear sundresses. I guess I could start wearing them now and put like a little sweater, but this one I thought would be so cute. It's just like a little um, little navy maxi tier dress and it'll be like flowy, perfect for spring and summer. And then the back, the back you can tie and adjust the straps. So really love this. I got a size small, which I'm glad I did because it looks, I feel like their stuff looks like it might run a little bit on the bigger side, but I think that this will still fit me. This would be a pretty dress, like something light and quick to throw in my suitcase for the baby moon. So thank you, Abercrombie. I'll link all those pieces below. I'm not going to do a try on, but I'll probably wear them throughout the next few vlogs. But I just wanted to share those little packages that came in to the front door quick. I'm going to get dressed for the day. Um, I want to go grab a coffee. I need to go to Goodwill. I didn't go yesterday and I have a bunch of stuff in the back of my car. So I need to go drop that. I need to go to UPS and drop some Revolve and Forward packages that I ordered that I got like multiple sizes of. I need to send the sizes back that didn't work. And then Dylan should be home and we should be able to load up the back of his truck and bring some stuff over to our new storage unit. So that is kind of the day for today. Maybe we'll grab dinner tonight out. Um, we had dinner last night with Julian Hunter. It was so fun. We went to Bar Taco, they brought smoke. It was so cute. It's so crazy to think because Julia was actually pregnant with smoke this time last year. So his birthday is like end of May and our due date is end of May, June 1st. Um, so we're like basically on the same timeline when it comes like pregnancy stuff. So I can ask all these questions and stuff and she can just like relate. So it's really nice and it's really fun to see like them be parents and know that Dylan and I are about to be new parents. It's just like so fun. So we had bar talk with them last night. I didn't vlog at all. We just like always have such good conversation. And so I always forget to pull out the camera. We did that and then Dylan and I went to Jenny's ice cream after, got a little dessert, came home and watched this show on Netflix. It was honestly terrible. <laughs> so we like stopped halfway through and I was falling asleep anyway. So that's kind of what our night was last night and then now we're here. So I like was terrible at vlogging last night. I brought a small purse. 
which then means I need to vlog on my phone and I just like always forget. So anyways, it's actually much colder out today than I thought it was. Like the temperature dropped, I think it's only 45 degrees today. I'm like out of breath. <laughs> I'm literally out of breath. Okay, I just ran into Lady Bird Taco last night when we got dinner with Julian Hunter. They were like talking about, they're like, have you guys been to Lady Bird? And I was like, yeah, we've been one time, but we came just to get like food. I think we got like lunch tacos. It was after we stayed at the one hotel and like shot that Revolve collection. Going down a little conversation of like our favorite coffees. You guys know yesterday I talked about like wanting to find like the best lattes in the city. And they were like, you have to try Lady Bird Tacos coffee. So... I just ran over here. I placed my order online, which if you're just coming by yourself quick and you're not like wanting to like sit inside, definitely do that because on the weekends, it is literally a madhouse in there. Um, so I got this like caramel latte situation. I got whole milk, extra ice. They actually listened to my extra ice description on my online order. And then got like a single breakfast taco. Figured I would get a little bit more food to hold me over until lunch because I feel like that parfait was good but i needed something else <laughs> it's so good their tortillas are so yummy i'm gonna copy taste test oh it's so good apparently they used the beans from a place called crema coffee which is the place that i went to yesterday that i didn't even know was like a thing i was in brentwood and i left stock and trade the furniture shop i didn't find anything but i just searched clo closest coffee to me in brentwood and crema coffee was like right next door so i just walked over and i was like wait this latte is really good the one i got yesterday apparently it's made with the same beans but they use like this homemade caramel sauce so yummy i'm gonna eat this quick and then head to goodwill you guys can see the back of my car is a nightmare i need to drop all that stuff off and then hopefully dylan will be home from work like semi soon <laughs> hi <laughs> hi winnie hi winnie <laughs> We're going to scoot over and give her some space. Dylan and I just got to the storage unit. We just unloaded some Christmas stuff out of the truck. Ours is AC, so we have to like walk through there. Um, just because, I don't know, with the heat and stuff, with some of the Christmas stuff, I didn't want it getting all messed up. So we just got a small, tiny place inside there with some AC for a little bit to store some stuff since we won't have a garage. But on to the next. We're going to go over to the new place and measure something that Dylan wants to measure for like some type of shed or something. So we're gonna go do that. Talking about the poppy again. <laughs> this time it's nice and cold. We just got back from dinner. It's been a long day, like I've barely filmed. Um, but one of you guys commented and told me, we're still talking about the poppy. One of you commented and told me that in the mystery box, there was two that were like this type of can and they were both different flavors. So like the one that we tried is different than this one. So we're gonna give this one a try and give you guys our opinions. Heck yeah. Do you wanna be the one that goes first this time? Or you want me to go first? You go first again. Oh God, this one's good. Is it? This one is, I, well, I'm not gonna say it, but it's funny though because when I read this rhyme, I was like, oh, surely it's the lemon lime. But I think lemon lime was the other one, but I didn't even read the can on that one, which makes me sad. What are you doing? I'm sending my check. <gasps> what? I'm not to do it there. Why, you can't put a check in and do yeah. it? Why not? It was, it's just a Excellent. You have to immediately know. Cream soda. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's it. It's definitely like cream sacola or something. It's so good. Yeah, it tastes like the cream soda and W cream soda. What's well, it says? Do you want me to read you the rhyme again? <laughs> yeah. You do? Yeah, read the rhyme. I feel like I've read it like 70 times. Is it the same one? Yes. Oh, then no, I'm good. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I thought it was new. <laughs> No, I've already read, I read it to you three times, like two nights ago. Remember it says, I'm a nostalgic, well, I'll just read it. I'm, <laughs> ready? I'm smooth, I'm sweet, I'm a soda shop treat. Cream soda. Duh. I thought it was Sprite, because it's soda shop, but like. Wait, wait, what do you mean Sprite? The other one was like a lemony lime, like, take off of Sprite, kind yeah, of, so right? It probably was like so that. I thought that this one was also the same uh, flavor, so I was like, oh, they're talking about Sprite. Yeah. But now I'm kind of sad I opened this and wasted it, because like, I don't want to have the whole thing. 
Yeah. It's the thought that counts. Thanks. <laughs> Dylan ran into Publix earlier when we were out and he got a case of water. <laughs> he got these flowers. <laughs> They're like freezing cold. Thank you. They're pretty. Give them your first time rating on... Wait, last time I said this place, I said Urban Market and someone said I was saying it wrong. Is no. it Herbin? I think it's Herbin, but I, it sounds like Urban. Did you like it? It was really good. I forgot if we vlog our food. Am Just... I going home or am I going to Ladybird? Well, look up coffee shops around here. Type in Crema and see if they have a Crema coffee shop here. Um, we just met up with some, well, it's Dylan's old coworker, but girlfriend of mine, they have two little girls. Um, we just had brunch with them. It was so nice to catch up. We haven't seen them in a while because he doesn't work for, um. Crispy Crema? No, it's just Crema coffee roasters, I think. Anyways, it's Sunday and I think it's the church crowd coming through because it's so busy and there's so many kids running around. It's like kind of fun to watch. Babe, see the dad with the Duna stroller right there? That's going to be you. Well, and me. Mm-hmm. Isn't that so fun? Look, he has it covered because it's chilly outside. So cute. It's like the temperature has dropped this weekend significantly. I don't know what's going on. I hope that it gets Crema warm. Coffee Roasters. Hey, do they have one? Yeah, there's one in Brentwood. Yeah, that's one I went to. Oh, yeah, and um, maybe we can go it's to the RHL. It's outlet. 11 minutes away. Yeah, can we go to that? Yeah. Dylan and I shared breakfast tacos, which are so good. I had them last time I was here, and then we got these... Um, banana oat pancakes. They were so good. Don't and I split them and I was, I kind of was low key wishing that we would have gotten two orders. Yeah, me too. Because those, they were those so are good. the best pancakes I've ever had. And then they, it's like a health food store, like a market, like they have groceries in there as well. So we got this um, pancake mix. I think that Dylan, well, Dylan bought it. I think he thinks it's going to be the same pancakes we just had, but there's no shot. I think that the batter they used Dylan was homemade. Sadly. Of course I went the wrong way. So oh, you can go out this way and just take a left. So we're gonna head get a coffee. We didn't get coffee there because last time I was here, I didn't love their coffees. So we're gonna grab coffee and then I think we're gonna make another run to the storage unit today and then just kind of like start packing up, getting ready for the work week. Obviously Dylan goes back to work tomorrow and then we have one full week left in our place right now and we get the keys for our new place on Friday which I'm so excited about and Dylan's parents are coming Friday to help us all weekend to help move which will be nice Dylan's, da Dylan's dad's gonna help us like hang the TVs the curtain rods all that kind of stuff that I can't really <laughs> help Dylan with so it'll be nice to have his dad here and then his mom and I will pack up like the kitchen I can't believe my camera's not sliding no, no, I, I think it's from that. my phone case it's silicone yeah um Dylan's mom will help me like do like the packing and then like obviously the lifting and stuff. I'm gonna try to do as much as I can, but I don't wanna like overdo it, but anyways. <laughs> 